All right, back here live at the New York International Auto Show where EVs are, of course, the theme. But don't for one second think that doesn't mean power. Mike Koval Jr. is the Ram brand CEO. He's here to tell us about this powerful, big, beautiful Ram 1500 Rev. Again, there's some hesitation among pickup truck lovers that it doesn't have the power they need does this it sure does and that's the one thing that our customers demanded of us and they said mike we'll come along for the ride with you we're hesitant we're nervous but do not compromise on the core attributes that we care about the most which historically has been towing and payload but more importantly is about charge time and range in the future and ram will offer a better suite of solutions which is what we announced today okay first let's start with the towing capacity because that's what i hear from pickup truck drivers all the time. How does it compare? Up to 14,000 pounds of towing capability. That's actually more than my ICE equipped versions. Uh, 2,700 pounds of payload. And we uh, also, on, in terms of range, we offer a 168 standard kilowatt hour battery, which affords you up to 350 miles of range. But if, if range is really your, your primary uh, purchase reason, you can opt up for the 229 kilowatt hour battery pack, which affords you up to 500 miles. And that range. appears to be the real moat, if you will, between this and its nearest competitors. Yeah, that's, and that's what we've heard. We've heard that the, a lot of range anxiety, especially while towing, and we think Ram has been able to push past what our competitors have announced today. But I will tell you this, as good as these numbers are, we're not done yet. We also confirmed today that we will, shortly after the Ram 1500 Revolution launches next year, we're going to introduce a Ram 1500 Rev XR for extended range version, which will offer even more class shattering range than what we've revealed today on the pure battery electric model. You care to tell us what that range is? I would love to, and I will do so very soon. Okay, what about sticker price for the Rev 1500? A little bit closer, a little bit closer to when we get on uh, to, to when we start production, but suffice it to say, I, like you, I'm a consumer as well. Uh, there's a big elephant in the room. The cost of electrification is very real. Uh, but in my view, in my humble opinion, if we're not creating electrification that's available to the masses, I'm not really sure what we're doing. So that's very, very, uh, I'm very cognizant of that, and it's top of mind, and we're working very hard to get as much cost out of the system. And the good news is, a little too much economic for, uh, news for you, but, but honestly, we are starting to see a little bit of relief in some of the materials that are going into the product, which is good news. And I think just like any new tech, it, it'll start high and it'll come down over time, and we're starting to see some of that. Okay, so range and power are the lead, but I'll be honest, Mike, my biggest surprise was opening up the doors, seeing the interior, and in fact, sitting in the back seat, I'm six foot two, had no problem fitting back there. What was your priority? when it comes to the interior of the car? Well, well, not to abandon what's already worked well for Ram. If you think about Ram trucks, one of the things we're known for is our interiors. Not only the luxuriousness, but also the practicality. So we like to say we have back seats that do front seat things. They're heated, they're air conditioned, they recline. But everything that our customers have come to know and love from Ram, imagine that now electrified. And that's what we have here today. Another theme that we're seeing throughout the show is tech. And the screens are unlike anything I've ever seen. What'd you do in there? Yeah, so first of all, a part of the reveal today was to also introduce a new top of the line trim. This is called the tungsten trim level. So what we bring in with the tungsten tr trim level is an all new 12.3 inch digital cluster, a 14 and a half inch screen in the stack. Now you may remember. 14 and a half well, inch. Well, when we, when we introduced the most current generation back in 2019, that 12 inch was class shattering. Never been done before, now it's table stakes. This is 14 and a half. But what we've done is we've introduced a passenger side screen, 10 and a quarter inches, so that now you've got a co-pilot that can, that can navigate with you or basically use the screen as an extension of their cell phone. So it's really a, a no compromise, neat, innovative tech forward solution from Ram. So my wife can yell at me that I'm going the wrong way on the display right in front of her. Thanks a lot for that, Mike. We're trying to help. I appreciate that. All right, biggest obstacle between mass adoption for EVs like this across the country is we get beyond six or 7% market penetration. How do we get there? Yeah, so it's, it's, it's gonna be gradual, right? And I think especially because we can't, trucks still need to do truck things. They need to tow, they need to haul. That's the one thing, as I mentioned, that please don't compromise. Electrification cannot be a limitation. Okay? And so, provided we stay true to those roots, we will bring our customers along with this on this journey. I don't expect this to change overnight, but I will say, if you look at the adoption projection through the end of the decade, 
our internal projection is actually more bullish than that, believe it or not. So we're, we're all in, and I think this is, the Ram 1500 Rev is the first signal that Ram is in. It's middle America that buys the most pickup trucks, which is probably where the weak spot is in terms of charging infrastructure. How fast is that changing, and how far do we have to yeah, go? I, I think, for sure, it's still an issue, but if you think about where how far we've come in such a short period of time, now you have private money, I, I think you're going to see incremental leaps and bounds with respect to the infrastructure, uh, charging infrastructure in, in, uh, across the country, not just in major cities, but across the country. Uh, and it, I, So I, I think we're going to get there faster than you think. For sure it's a concern. We're working on it with many of our partners as well to help make things a little bit, I would say, less friction. Yeah. We, that's, that's what we're trying to remove, because there's a lot of concern about range out there. But, um, but I, I think you're going to find that it's going to uh, rapidly improve. I've never taken the plunge into an EV, but a pickup like this, I think just might do it, Mike. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thanks Thank so you. much, Mike Koval, Jr., Ram Brand CEO. We'll be right back after a short break.